This is Ren Bowman, and I'm a PhD student here in the Applied Linguistics and Technology program at Iowa State. In this segment, I'll be showing you three websites that you can use for listening activities in your classroom. They are ESL Lab, ESL Lounge, and many things. Let's start with ESL Lab. ESL Lab is an internet site that is focused on providing free listening materials. The materials on the website are organized by level, from easy to difficult, and by categories such as games, idioms, culture, and academic topics. In this academic listening section here, you can see that the materials are categorized by difficulty level, so they can be used in a variety of classrooms. Let's take a look at this intermediate difficulty level audio, Career Search. This is the basic format for all of the activities. It starts with a pre-listening exercise that has discussion questions that you can use for small group discussions at the start of class. Next is the main listening exercise, where students will listen to the embedded audio file and answer the multiple choice questions that follow. Ryan, I just want you to know that I'm going to school to become an auto mechanic. Oh, uh, what? Does Nat know about this? Who cares? It's my life. I really enjoy working on cars. A great thing about this exercise is that it's automatically graded and students can get immediate feedback, which means that you might be able to assign this as homework or as out of class practice. Over here is also a link to the transcript for this audio file, which students can either use while they listen to it for the first time, or they can use it during a second listening. They can use it for vocabulary practice because the transcripts are glossed. After that, there are also vocabulary activities, post-listening exercises, and even online investigations that they can conduct. Let's move on to ESL Lounge, which, like ESL Lab, gives you ideas for listening activities in the classroom. Unlike ESL Lab, though, not all the materials on ESL Lounge are free. One free resource that I like is Songs, found here under Other Materials. In this section, you can find songs that students can listen to, along with a good list of activity ideas for working with the language in the songs. The songs and activities in this section are a good starting point, but you can also look for your own songs by searching on the internet and continue to use ESL Lounge activities to teach the songs. You might even ask your students to suggest songs that they like. A third great listening website is called Many Things. As its name suggests, this website has many things. It has resources for all English skills. Let's take a look at the listening section. This website is particularly useful for EFL teachers because it provides audio files with different English accents. Some audio files have extemporaneous speech, which provides good, authentic language. There are also audio files with recorded readings, like this one that has spoken passages from the Foreign Student Series in Voice of America Special English. All these audio files are accompanied by transcripts. ESL Lab, ESL Lounge, and Many Things are separate websites, but I like to mix and match them. Depending on the lesson I'm teaching, I might take an audio file from Many Things and create activities for it by using ideas from ESL Lab. The amazing thing is that so many of these materials are completely free of charge.